Hey everybody and welcome back to another episode of Dirt Green Steel. So as you've been following me on the channel, every Sunday we've been working on the uh, 3D printed L2 Gleaner Combine. So last Sunday we left off, we'd gotten all the black paint on and uh, we've painted everything that's supposed to be black, black so far. So what we're going to do tonight is we're going to start painting some of the galvanized on and uh, we're going to paint some of the white on the cab which I've already painted the hard side so that we can go pretty quick in a video doing the easier stuff painting it white. And then we have the uh, clean grain auger that goes in the uh, grain tank. We have that to paint galvanized and we have our return elevator that runs up beside the cab to uh, paint galvanized. So I'm going to get my favorite beer and uh, we're going to start painting. So let's get started here. We're going to get some classic white and one of my viewers gave me a little tip of putting a BB in there to make it so that I can uh, shake it up and the BB will act like a paint stirrer and it's, it's working real good. So first of all, let me get a drink here. Okay, let's get started. Got our white paint. We got us a fine tipped brush. It's not extremely fine, but it should work out pretty good. Now, the secret is not to get a lot of paint on your brush each time. And we're going to start in this white spot and work our way over to the window hole. So we want as little of paint as possible on the brush so it's not running over the edge of that window trim there and getting on our brown inside the cab so we're going to try to rake that across and keep it from flowing around the uh, cab post and getting a brown on the inside which it is still a little bit so I'm gonna have to touch it up with a little brown when we're done this white seems to take a couple coats to make it look real nice just gotta keep very little paint on that brush like there's almost too much but we'll kind of rake it on It's very hard to paint these smaller details like this, but we'll touch them up when we're done. I'd rather have a little too much paint on the model than not enough. And you know, from six foot away with this sitting on the uh, shelf, nobody's ever going to notice a little bit of paint flaw. It's just when they pick it up and they look at it real close. There you go, a little bit too much paint. And also, if you noticed, I've uh, put the back wall in, which includes the steering wheel and all that in there. So as you can see, that turned out real nice. I need to touch up the floor just a little bit. But uh turned out real nice in there. It's pretty cool. You can see in there. So this thing's going to look good when it's done. So anyways, I'm going to keep painting and uh, I'll show you when we're done. Okay, we've got our cab painted all nice and white. And uh, another thing I forgot to mention is... Uh, wash your hands with Dawn dish soap really good before you start doing these models because the oil on your skin gets on them and it makes it so the paint don't stick as well and it's kind of hard to get coverage so I've noticed if I keep my hands washed with the Dawn it uh, keeps the oils off and uh, the paint sticks nice so we've got some chrome silver that we're going to be using as our galvanized so uh, this is the moment I've been waiting for. I've been wanting to start painting some galvanized on here. So let's see how this goes. 
lays out real nice. In fact, let's grab a little bigger brush. Put that brush in the acetone. I like to use acetone to clean my brushes. So let's get us a little bigger one here. Maybe we can cover a little. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh man. That's beautiful. Bring that down here in the side of the hopper. Oh, that's gonna be beautiful when it's when it dries. Let's wipe that around the front here. Oh, we're gonna have us a happy little combine is what we're gonna have here when we're all done. Man, it makes me want to go get a bunch of this and paint my real L2 with it. Look at that. Oh, that's gonna be beautiful. It's gonna be gorgeous. We're gonna come back and we're gonna detail where the flashers all go because that's a cutout right there for the flasher light. Now this might be a little bright to be an aged combine. I think I'm just going to go for the new combine look. I thought about going for the old L2 look, but I think we'll just make the uh, right off the assembly line brand new. Be the only L2 I'll ever get to own brand new. Paint around that step to get in the hopper right there. So I ordered a new camera and I'm anxious to try it out. It goes on my head actually and uh, the camera is on would be on my right hand side of my face and so when I turn my head it's gonna go wherever my head goes I think it'll be awesome for any excavators and the farm equipment because when I look out the back window of a tractor it's gonna look out the back window too so I think it's gonna be really cool I hope it works as good as I think it's going to oh got a little paint on my air or on my air conditioning unit but that's okay we'll touch it up later So I'm going to keep painting, get an idea of what it's going to look like. I got to get all this painted. Anything white right now is going to get painted silver. So I'm going to keep painting. I got a long way to go. Well, there it is. It's going to need some touch up work, but uh, for the most part, it turned out beautiful. So I got uh, the fuel tank that gets to be white. I'm going to detail that rotary air screen. The muffler, the air intake, that all needs detailed. Uh, the air conditioner unit, that's going to be painted a separate color. And then I got some silver on some black, but that's no big deal. I can uh, detail that up later. But for the most part, it's pretty much done. So now we're going to move on to the unloading auger. I got to trim this little turd off, or whatever you want to call it here. It was part of the uh, the packing or how it was all put together you know when we cut it apart the first time but uh anyways just wanted to wish whistle and diesel a uh speedy recover recovery i had heard that he had an accident over the weekend um actually uh took a ricochet 50 caliber caliber bullet to the head i guess supposedly so uh being a fellow youtuber I'd like to wish him a speedy recovery on that. And uh, I know I don't totally agree with all the stuff he destroys, but someday I might want to do a collaboration video with him destroying something. I'm sure we could have fun destroying something with an excavator or dropping it with my crane or something like that. Dropping a wrecking ball on a car or a truck or something like that, you know. But uh, my sister had told me about it last night. And I was like, damn, he got lucky really lucky 
So uh, if you're watching this, hope you have a speedy recovery and you're doing good today. And so I figured I'd just take a moment and say that. But anyways, I think we can uh, go ahead and paint this now. So we're going to use our same chrome silver on this as we did our uh, combine. So let me get my brush here out of the acetone. Get it cleaned up. Dry it off. I also seen that uh, Leg Arms from Welker Farms, he's got his cast off already. So I'm glad to glad to see that. That didn't take really too long for his arm to heal up. It's a good thing that that log chain was laying on the shop floor. He would have probably lost his arm. I don't know if anybody watched the video of it actually happening, but oh, I cringed when I seen that drawbar fall on his arm. That definitely was, you never want to see anybody get hurt. That was definitely a bad deal. Man, this is going to look nice when it's done. I cannot wait to start assembling this. This will probably, uh, next weekend, we'll do the a lot of the assembly on it. I'd like to let this paint dry at least a week, it seems like. I mean, you could probably let it dry a couple hours and work with it, but it seems like a week it dries real nice. These smaller pieces like this are a little hard to hold. I'm I want to get this one done because I think the next one I'm gonna order an in series. I always liked them combines, always wanted one, but everybody's always told me to stay away from the in series. But you know me, I'll probably end up buying one just to say that I've had one. Finding one's a hard part. They're uh, getting kind of far and few between. There's a couple of them at Worthington, but mm, they're Worthington for a reason. Oh yeah, get that spout nice and painted up. That looks nice. The only bad thing about painting this stuff is the next day, man, does my neck hurt from looking down, trying to paint such perfect detail and hunched over so I can see it. I need some kind of magnifying glasses, I guess, but there we go. The auger's done. Let's see if we can... Uh, clip it in one of these holders there we go this uh, holder I know my friend Pete was asking me about it uh, this holder I got off of Amazon it's a Tiami I think is the brand of it they make a lot of model stuff and it is a lifesaver when it comes to painting models but you get this one and you get one other one for like $39, I think it was. I also ordered another one that are just like real heavy wire with alligator clips on them. And they, uh, it's like a plastic deal with uh, little holes. And then wires, they just uh, poke in them holes after you've clipped your piece in them to hold it up and down. So that it can sit there and dry. I haven't got that one yet. 
it was only a couple bucks I seen it. I thought, oh, that'll work great. There's another one. We can possibly take a clip. I mean, you could do something with uh, small clothespins if you wanted to, just glued on popsicle sticks and make like a foam deal that you could shove them in. That would also work. I mean, anything's possible. But nice thing about this, if you're trying to spray paint something, you can rotate it and spray it. Oh, I can't wait to start assembling. I'm still videoing. I said I can't wait to start assembling this. It's going to look fantastic. I just hope my decals come this week for it. I wish I would have seen that fine print on the website that I ordered it off where it said to ask about decals and I would have ordered them. So I think that's all we have to paint for the silver. Oh. We got the hopper extensions to do yet. And that head. I gotta do the head. So here's the hopper extensions. Gotta get those painted up. Because those will have to go on. I'm about out of holders to hold everything. So this will be the last one for a little bit. We'll probably paint this one in the video right here because it'll be plenty long. And everybody's kind of got an idea of what's going on, how to do it. It's kind of why I've done this this video is because if anybody buys one of these, they'll uh, have kind of sort of an idea how to do it all. I think the assembly video is going to be a lot more exciting than just the paint video. So, anyways, we're going to end this video right here because I'm going to let these dry and then I'm going to get a clip for that one, paint it. And I'm going to give that cab another coat of paint. So anyways, if you like this episode of Dirt Grain Steel, give me a like and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. And I will see you all on the next one. Thank you for watching.